With row owners and filtering, you can restrict items to only be visible by certain users. But what if you want to show all items to all users, but have data on each of these items be specific to each user, like a personal rating for that item or personal notes? For this, you need user-specific columns. User-specific columns allow cells to hold unique data for each user. This means each user can experience their own data for a particular item. In this app, there is a notes component for users to write their own notes on each item. Without user-specific columns, this note would appear to everyone else who can see that row. And if someone else changed that note, it would change for everyone else. With user-specific columns, each user gets their own version of this cell, meaning that you have potentially thousands of versions of a single cell. To use user-specific columns, your app needs to use sign-in with email, email whitelist, or belong to an organization. You can still add user-specific columns with public or password-protected apps, but user-specific columns will not be able to save data for each user. User-specific columns also require a row ID column. If you try to create a user-specific column without row IDs, Glide will prompt you to add one. User-specific columns live in the data editor only. They don't live in your sheet. To create one, first create a basic column, choose the type, and then tick column is user-specific in the columns configuration. This will create a new empty column in the data editor, ready for you or your users to add their own data. To preview user-specific data, you can use Preview As. This will show you the user's data in the app as well as in the data editor. There are lots of things that you can do with user-specific columns, but we're going to go over just a few. When someone taps like on the like component, the component passes a value of plus one to the sheet. When someone dislikes an item, the component sends a value of minus one to the sheet. Just like favorites, in order to make sure that each user's value is specific to them, we need to tie the like component to a user-specific column. As we've already seen, you can allow users to create their own private notes on items. To do this, create a new text column in the data editor and make it user-specific. You can then add a text entry component or a notes component to your items and connect it to your new user-specific column. Now each user's notes will be specific to them. Glide's math column makes it really easy for you to create custom calculator apps for specific use cases. However, the problem with calculator apps is that if you don't use user-specific columns, then only one person can use that app at one time. Otherwise, you'll see your calculations changing as other users enter their own data. With user-specific number columns, we can make sure that each part of our calculation is specific to each user. When we bind those columns to components in the app and let users enter data there, then many users can use the app side by side and the calculations will be specific to them.